Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Parkitect. Uh, it's been a little bit of a while since we've been in this one, apologies for that. Um, probably didn't start this series at the best time to be honest. If you don't know, I'm actually in the process of emigrating to Canada and as I record this, we're, um, we're about eight days away from going. When the video comes out, I think we're about three days away from going or something like that because I'm trying my hardest to get a lot of content made uh, for, the, uh, for the time I'm away. Um, and yeah, unfortunately this kind of long form content where you play the game for sort of two, three, four hours to make a single video it doesn't really work very well. We're trying to smash videos out. <laughs> um, so yeah, unfortunately the, this is probably going to be the last one for now, um, but the, there's no way I'm finished with Parkitect. It's really quite quickly becoming one of my favourite games, so you know we'll definitely dive back into here, but it may well be a week or two um, before we're settled in calendar and, and able to start back up again. And uh, I think that'd be quite a nice thing to do, actually, once we're settled in Canada, to be able to carry on building in this park, because this park is a very British... It's sort of an homage to the British seaside uh, park resorts that we... Um, that Well, I do, anyway, love. So uh, here we're going to build... Um, the, uh, the first attraction you actually get you get quite a bit you get quite a bit of a bang for your buck here today if I'm honest with you uh, we build a, the first ride we build the first coaster and we build some main street buildings uh, so you actually get quite a bit done here I'm afraid it's gonna have to be enough for you for a little while but we do get quite a bit done now one thing I wanted was a really nice uh, grand uh, covered carousel so uh, so that's what I'm starting on here and the queue is covered and everything so it's gonna be a really great ride for people to come and pull, uh, go to when it's ready Training, which obviously happens quite a lot in the UK, so it is something I think about. Uh, there you see, I'm just toning the colours down a little bit. The colours I picked to start off with were a little bright, especially the white. So we're just going over there and sort of yellowing the white a little and, and just sort of taking the, the hue a little bit out of the red. Uh, but I'm quite happy that it turns out it's a bit big and bulky uh, as a whole building, but I think I think that's mostly because it's kind of sat um, it's kind of sat uh, out with nothing around it at the moment. This part's going to be quite compact once it gets uh, filled out a bit. There's going to be a lot of stuff everywhere, so I think once there's more stuff around it and different height variations around it, I think it's going to look uh, look okay. So um, yeah, I am very aware of that. Talking of uh, not being happy with buildings, that the main the main entrance building, some really great feedback on that, especially uh, Mass Bandit had a good idea and a few others as well uh, suggested that it's probably a little bit tall and that's probably what's throwing it off a little bit so uh, maybe sort of drag that down a little bit and squish it down a little bit uh, the actual footprint is quite good but the actual height of it itself is a little bit funky um, so I think uh, I'll do that but like I say unfortunately these are, I'm, I'm pre-recording these so uh, this all was pre-recorded before the first one even went out um, and then I'm recording the audio um, when I can so it's, it's all over the place at the moment folks do me a favour and never emigrate if you ever want any form of life for the three months beforehand. <laughs> uh, here, I'm doing some custom um, lighting because I, I, as much as the lighting is quite good in the game, uh, the ones that stick to the paths, uh, they're a little bit limited in where they can go and I really wanted some uh, on the corners here that we can throw around. So I've built these and, and saved them as a blueprint that we can use in the future um, and I think they, uh, they turned out pretty good actually. So there we go, then you'll see the uh, the carousel as you come in, really sort of quite grand entrance to the park, and then we move on to our first coaster that, let's be honest, has to be uh, a woody, has to be a wood, an old wooden coaster, pretty much a there and back uh, woody, no banking, just lots of airtime, and uh, it comes around and, and back and you're done again. Now, I did struggle here a little bit because we're, uh, we're we're sort of having to go over the top of the deliveries building and can't really change that deliveries building without going back into scenario mode. So that wasn't really something I wanted to do. Um, so this is, this the coaster actually gets uh, a complete rehaul in a moment. Um, this is, what you're watching here is just version one that completely gets ripped out and, and we near enough start over again. Um, I'm quite happy with it. I, I built this before um, Silverette's awesome coaster tutorial came out. If you've not seen that, I would strongly recommend going to check it out. Coaster tutorial for the game. Uh, and he goes into some really interesting um, points about how you can use the uh, height variations and the uh, built-in um, transitions and stuff to, to really get some some great um, some great coasters, but yeah, unfortunately that was uh, all before I built this. But luckily, these wooden coasters are pretty much um, they're janky as hell. You know, they don't have nice inversion. They don't have nice transitions. Sorry, they go up, they they cut round, they they're really sharp and they kind of hurt a little bit now. And um, that's really something I wanted to get across. So I'm I'm really quite happy with how it ended out. 
uh, ended up sorry uh, like I say at the moment it's it's just not there it's, it was originally just going to be like a dog leg there and back uh, I actually end up making it into more of a uh, uh, sort of the, the three I can't remember they ever call it the sort of there and back and there and back again like three way one um, with some really sort of funky like look at that bit there that curve that curve round under the main drop I think that's awesome how it's turned out that would absolutely rip your shoulder blades to shreds that would be really horrible to ride <laughs> uh, but that's what you need from these things you know so I'm basing this on something like the Big Dipper uh, Blackpool um, or even like the Grand National even though it has a dueling coast to that one but uh, yeah I would really love getting a woody in there and, and chances are if I, if, if I feel like we have enough room I'd quite like a second woody in the park as well and we could maybe even do a dueling woody I don't know whether the Parkitect allows the, uh, the, the the option of, uh, of a, a Mobius strip dueling coaster which is basically a single coaster with two stations built into it I know you can do separate stations for loading and unloading whether or not you can have two stations to load and time it to be a mobile strip and if it's even possible and if it is possible whether I've got the time to do it <laughs> I don't know so there you go there that is more what you're looking at there is more of the final um, layout of it don't really do any other theming to it at the moment uh, but obviously we will have a transfer track built into there and a station but the station transfer tracks are going to be very standard very sort of like uh, wooden covers and stuff uh, so here I wanted to get a um, a bit more of a intense flat ride in and a bit more of a newer flat ride in as well and uh, the, the kind of feel that I wanted to go for there was like it had been like they're eating into their backstage a little to kind of add more rides because that's something very much that happens with these uh, sort of seaside parks that are very limited on their space uh, is that eventually they have to sort of start encroaching on other areas other other uh, other rides other bits of you know backstage and stuff and there's a lot of interaction with rides as well uh, lots of coasters going over coasters and under coasters and all that sort of stuff um, so that's something I really wanted to do there show sort of like a more modern ride with very very plain theming that just kind of get stuck down as in we just need some more rides here to, to cope with the demand of the uh, the larger numbers of people that we're getting in anyway we then start working on um a main street of sorts I guess it's only going to be a few buildings it's not going to be a really sort of gra uh, grand main street um but I've gone for a sort of Bavarian style build um this is something I talked about in the last episode, I think I said that the buildings were going to be Bavarian. A few people pointed out that, you know, Bavarian isn't isn't German. And also I mentioned like Hansel and Gretel and um, sort of Brothers Grimm's fairy tales and that kind of thing. And people were saying, well, that, that they're not Bavarian either. And I, I understand that. I mean, perhaps my point didn't come across very well. My point was that the Bavarian style of architecture is pretty much all we got of Germany, basically, for quite a long time. Uh, you know, Lederhosen and uh, and sort of, you know, these, these sort of almost Tudor-style buildings in some respects uh, are pretty much the, the the idea or the concept of Germany is what we got. Uh, and even to, to an extent, the concept of, of sort of Eastern and Northern Europe. So places like uh, Ukraine, Poland, they all kind of came under this big bracket for us uh, in the UK uh, for many years. And it wasn't really until we sort of really embraced Europe when, um, when flights to the mainland became became cheaper in the sort of 60s 70s and then obviously you know joining the union i'm not going to go into politics now about what's happening with that but at the time we joined the union and um you know that sort of really opened our eyes to what europe was but until then we were kind of stuck with the stereotypes and that kind of carried on with theme parks you know that, those sort of it's something we talked about a little bit on the Zurich gardens for planet coaster is that we say that we have an african theme and that's like saying you have a european theme or a north american theme you know these are hellishly big places that have many many different styles of architecture and culture but they can pretty much be smushed down into a really sort of simplistic uh, over the top art style that that uh, kind of comes uh, comes from and that's kind of the point I was trying to make with theme parks anyway there you go there's a couple of glamour shots there of the coaster like I say very much a work in progress we also did some extra little work there with some garden and stuff uh, and the main street buildings really happy with the main street buildings really happy with the coaster may have another look at the carousel building not quite sure about that one just yet 
comments uh, you know on a postcard like usual if you've got any ideas for that uh, but thank you so much for watching like I say we're going to have to take a little bit of a break from this series at the moment while I move um, we're still having daily videos but it just unfortunately won't be this kind of video uh, because of how much time it takes up but I'm looking forward to picking this back up again in a few weeks thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed it if you have you can give us a like it really does help out the channel and if you're not already don't forget to subscribe any thoughts queries suggestions you can pop them down in the comments fancy a chat you can find me on Twitter I'm at John T Sparrow but if you're joining me the Geekism community you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server you'll find the link for that in the description thank you to all of our Patreons they make these videos possible through their incredible support at patreon.com slash geekism and don't forget to check out our affiliate link which gets us some cheap games and other goodies while supporting the channel at the same time you'll find those in the description thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one